Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Where we last left off, we just apparently won the war and taken Fort Monas. Let's go to the military war before we do anything else, shall we? And we recruited Ralph. Statesman army is in tatters, and it's only a matter of time before they surrender. But I have another mission for you. Sakata Industries Chairman Rigi Sakata is arriving here to inspect one of his factories. You and you get to be his bodyguards. <gasps> Rigi? Sataka? We're also getting reports of terrorist groups calling themselves the Spirit of Huffman, being highly active in UCS territory. So watch your backs. Dismissed. Interesting. Now, if we go into the military ward again, we should. There we go. You're still here? If you're so bored, why don't you go help the main force in Fort Mondas? Yeah, so if we come here, we can get ourselves another uh, mission. Sergeant Duval? I mean, Lieutenant Duval, isn't it now? How have you been? I'm sorry, do I know you? Lieutenant Duval, your ones is ready, sir. Thanks. I'll be right there. Hmm. Now, apparently, as what I can understand, he's a character from um, Front Mission 5 or something. I don't know because I've never played Front Mission 5. Let's check out the bar before we move on anyway. Ever hear of those terrorists calling themselves the Spirit of Huffman? I've literally just heard of them. The story is that they only seem to target military installations. I wonder what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, how about that? You're a merc too, huh? Toast to the OCU. Good to be on the winning team, eh? An OCU occupation. I guess living out the rest of my life in peace was too tall an order. Why? Are we bad? I hear this Merc outfit called Canyon Crows thinks they're hot stuff on their wanzas. Truth is, the OCU wouldn't have won without their tank battalions. Yeah, you don't really hear about the rest of the war or anything that's going on. You just hear about the wanzas, which is interesting. Okay, so let's exit. So we've got two things that we can go to. And... Isn't this really cool and useful? Um, it doesn't tell us which one's which. So let's go back inside and save it. So I'm guessing if we do one and not the other, if we don't do the bonus mission, it kind of cancels it out. I'm not really sure. Let's take a gamble, shall we? Hopefully this is the actual bonus mission. I should soon know. Yep, this looks new. Um, right, let's take the usuals, I suppose. And have a little look, see what we're playing with here. So Ah, this is the bonus mission. Cool. We have Code Green to eradicate. Kill them all. Copy that. Roy does not seem happy about this. As you can see, I've upgraded our mechs, uh, our Wanzas offline as well. We now have... I didn't actually realize these were flying pads. Flying legs. I thought they were just like, you know, like spider legs. But hey, whatever. Cool, I guess. Right. Let's go. Never done this mission before, so I'm not sure how this one's going to go. Right, no duel. Because we want to go for maximum XP. Never had flying wanzas before, I don't think. That's kind of interesting. So we've got another attacker there. They really are trying to hold the line, aren't they? 
Well, let's get these guys going. Just charge straight in. Gregorio is not exactly uh, a front player there, is he? Um, okay, a star player, I should say, but that's okay. Right, Natalie. Uh, I guess we can soften them up with some rockets, I suppose. We have our new Wild Goose rocket launchers. Well, we got rid of his missile launcher, at least. Right, Natalie. Let's get you moving up as well. Everybody moving up. Man, we've got so many men here. Just push forwards, I suppose. It's actually quite fun to play a mission that you haven't played before. And seeing what the field's like. Whoa! Okay. This really is a heroic last stand, isn't it? We're supposed to be helping our guys, but it looks like we're the only guys here. Just curious. Whatever. Video game logic and all that. Oof. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, these guys aren't playing around, are they? Just almost wipes her out. Can she get anywhere? Or we can get some missile shots? There, I guess. Wild Goose. Just go for center mass. Wow, these guys are pretty strong. It would seem. Almost killed her in one shot. Or two shots, technically. Get some more support over this side. This one might end up being rough. You know, maybe not as well. No jewel. Just keep defending yourselves, guys. Nice. Yay. And there's that sound glitch again. I don't know if that sound glitch is coming across, or whether it's just on my end. Weird. Right, uh, oof. I want you to defend yourself. Oh my god, I knew I should have dodged the other way. Okay, actually lost May. Jeez. Okay, well we haven't had a casualty for a while, so... Oh man, those guns. I don't know what those guns are, but they are rough. Gregorio is <laughs> level 12. Whoa. Yeah, maybe we should have stuck him in the arena a little bit. Okay, so no screwing around. We're just going to go for straight up kills here. No trying to maximize XP. Kill shots only. So let's go, Royd. That's fine. Right, Ryuji. Let's get you to sneak round and take this get finish this guy off. Very nice. Now, these guys that are dug in like Alabama ticks. Probably are gonna need to be left to our best guys. Or girls, for that matter. Look at Natalie. She probably is our best person, actually. She's just monstrous. Um, Keith, can you handle it? What's this guy got? Rat Mount MG. Very nice. Very nice. JJ, move up, brother. These new missile launchers, what range? They've got three to four range. Curious. Not really sure how that works. Three to four range. That's a really odd range. 
Hmm. Okay. Now that... These are the guys that are pretty rough. Let's start engaging these guys with rockets, I think. Wild Goose. Yeah, Wild Goose definitely does hurt them. Paul. I'm going to have to get a little bit tactical with you, Paul. Because... Don't want you to be engaged, to be honest. Yeah, that wasn't brilliant, Paul. Gonna be honest. Alda, now. Um, hit him with the rockets. And it's doing that bug again where you can't select your weapon. Now we can. That was useless. Yeah, we're going to really be leaning on our star players here. Um, now. I guess Hans is a pretty good player, so let's go straight over. Go for a body shot. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Now, Gregorio. Trouble with Mr. Gregorio is he is really, <laughs> really not very good. Sorry, Gregorio, but it's the truth, man. Um, hmm. Gregorio, you are now artillery support. Wild Goose. Yep, yeah, no chance in hell. We may very well take more losses. Attack. Ooh, jeez, dude. Go for a body shot. That's fine. It's weakened him off for the next round. Uh, Heath? That's alright. Yeah, these guys aren't dangerous. It's the other ones. The ones that have got the uh, legs. They're freaking lethal, man. It's the body shots that do the damage. Frederick is becoming a bit of a beast. The problem is when they uh, get either lucky shots, oh god, or when they go up against our kind of like newbie characters. Gregorio, you're probably going down. Yep. Move, you piece of trash. Uh, <laughs> oh, Gregorio. They might be breaking our lines on the east, actually. Kill it. No jewel. This is literally their last hurrah here. So they're going to be bringing pretty much everything they have. Makes sense. UCS WANs is detected in the Eastern District. Switching to intercept. Uh, so... Uh, is he gone? I don't know. Right, Ryuji. Head up here and engage this guy. Oh no. Okay, pulled it. Oh, Jesus. Sort of pulled it back there. Ah, oh, Natalie, I'll need you to engage. You know what? Go for it. Oh. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Alright. Take him out. I guess that's as close as taking him out as we're going to get. Hit him in the body. Well, one hit's better than none, I suppose. Right, Fred. I need you to come over here and back these guys up, I think. Yeah, Fred. That guy needs to go. Because otherwise in the next round he'll take out Natalie. Now, Paul, you ain't an awful lot of use. Really, brother. So, you are going to be artillery, really. 
you would be if I could find a single position for you where you could use your rockets. Yeah, that wasn't really that good. Alda, you're going to be in the same position, really. But hopefully, we can get you some XP. We can, which is good, because you need it. Alright, hands. We are trashing these guys, but man, are they putting up some resistance. This is fun. Okay, Peewee. They got this area locked down pretty tight. Oh, dear. Hold, JJ. Hold. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice. Attack. Defend yourselves. Ooh, track. Legs destroyed, but that's okay. We've taken him out of the fight anyway. Ooh, rough. Rough. Very rough. Fred! Hold, Fred! Nice. Uh, Fred, see what you can do. <laughs> nice, Fred. Oof. This is not good. All I can say is, guard, Ryuji, yep, Jesus, sorry Captain, go on without me. Really didn't want to lose Ryuji, because he is one of our best men. Okay, so who have we got left? Let's go back up JJ. That was kind of shit. Natalie, I'm going to want you to pop a med kit. Do it. Keith. Keith, push up and engage. Oof. Oof. Alright, so they're not all these Herculean... Ass Buster Max, luckily. Just mostly. JJ's not too shabby, actually. I keep kind of giving him a hard time in my mind, but he's actually not bad. Right. Go for it. Not bad, Fred. <laughs> Fred, you're a machine. Oh my god. Him with speed is kind of dangerous. Now, older. Uh, older. I guess. Just get those missiles in the air. That was kind of useless, but then I don't care too much if he goes down. I don't know why we can't get around this car here. Hands. Take him out. Yeah, Hands actually, for his level, he's actually quite good. But we definitely need to pump his numbers up a little bit, for sure. Uh, okay. Now, oh, this is bad. Okay. Paul, oh, Paul. I guess, can we get Paul up here just so he can distract? Yeah, we can. Body shop. Oh, Paul, that was so close. That was so close. Ouch. This is fine. 
Right, it looks like most of the heavy hitters might have been disabled. I say most of them. Alright, that's nice. Nice ducking and weaving there, Fred. This... This is not going to be nice. All I can say is guard and hope for the best, Paul. Alright. Paul, not bad. You got disabled. One of your weapons got disabled. That's fine. Go for it. No jewel. Wow. Royd has almost maxed out his short range skill. Natalie, you're one of our top players. Push up. Let him have it. No jewel. You don't need it with speed too. <laughs> it's just monstrous. Speed 3 will pretty much wipe out everything in one hit. It's pretty nice. Right, Keith. Take him out. If you can. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. We may have somehow managed to save Paul. I mean, the battle's not over yet, but nice. The battle is far from over, but Paul's still alive, which is only a good thing. Fred, come on, Fred. Dead said Fred. Okay, pull. Pull, pull back. And pop a repair kit for your right arm, I guess. Now, what's the actual battlescape looking like now? You got one contact, two. I think we're doing okay. So Glenn was only with us for a minute, really. Which is interesting. Hmm. I guess really we just see if we can get you in weapons range of that guy, Commander. Well, Adler, I mean or well, older is your actual name. I guess that was something. It was a little something. But it's something nonetheless. Peewee. Just stay there and... Try and patch these guys up the best you can. Oof. Yeah. Not, not fantastic. Ah, oh, Fred. No, Fred. Fred's holding on. Holding on by the skin of his asshole, but he's holding on. Right, get behind and light his ass up. No jewel. That wasn't too bad. However, we have almost lost both of our arms. Who's this? Natalie. Excellent. Natalie, move up. Mess him up. No jewel want to farm that experience because if you choose jewel and aim for a certain body part you're only going to hit that body part whereas if you don't you're probably still going to kill the enemy and damage more body parts equaling more xp so jewel is jewel's an interesting skill like it's useful if uh, you're kind of backed in a corner and you're going to use it to try and uh, as a last hur hurrah sort of thing but I do tend not to use it if I can. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. See what I mean? Once you start getting these skills to pop reliably, game over, man. We'll go for speed. Too bloody right. Fred, you're in a somewhat of a bad way. I guess you can disengage. Paul. 
Paul, actually, you can try and... You know what, Paul, you're kind of useless, brother. I'm not saying that to be nasty. It's just, it's true. Maybe we will get you in the arena. Older, too. But that won't be yet. Uh, get rid of that arm. Nice. Commanders are pretty um, interesting characters. I mean, if you get an attacker, for instance, their skills are usually quite high in short range. If you get a missile, their skills are generally quite high in uh, long range missiles, obviously. But a commander has um, high skill in every... Category. Russian Keith. That wasn't a very good idea, now was it? Definitely not a good idea. And you paid the ultimate price. Because you better believe it. We're not taking prisoners here, brother. Uh, right, I'm... Kind of roughed up. But... I can get to the area. And then pop a repair kit. Seems like a waste of a turn. But if he attacks me, it means I get a free attack. Natalie can come around the side and light his ass up. Some rockets. Get rid of that rocket launcher. If you can. Of course you can. You're Natalie. It's not much you can't do. Right, Keith, you're in good shape. Oh, Keith. Keith's going to come up. From this way. Let's disarm him if we can. Yes. What are you going to do now, sucker? That's right. Fuck all. Um, you might as well just chill there. Same with you. Hey, where did Pee Wee go? Ah, bollocks. I moved Pee Wee. Hey, it doesn't matter. You guys, don't worry about it. I like the way he just like skips his turn because there's literally nothing he can do. Let's get some experience. Let's use this last guy as an experience farm. <laughs> so satisfying. Glenn, what have they done to you? And we received the Sea King for doing that. Now, I don't remember Glenn. Was he from... I can't remember where he was from. That was an expensive mission. Uh, yeah, we lost like four and a half grand, nearly. But it is what it is. We got the Sea King. And I can't remember if the Sea King's a, a decent um, thing to use, to be honest. All right, let's go to Fort Mundus, enter the town. And for shits and giggles, let's set up. Let's put Roid in the Seeking. And let's test this thing out. So, lots of health, lots of power, but is it any good? Is the question. Let's try it. Because, well, Ford apparently would be a good fight against this guy. Let's try it. Let's see what we can do. So all we have is the Seeking MG. Don't need to duel. Just want to see what it's like. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. What about against Larry? Good lord. This would be an unbelievably good way of farming. Don't need to duel. Oh, I mean, technically, if we just wanted to farm, we could duel. Because we could just aim for his body, take him out. Holy shit pants. So every time we do that, we're getting two uh, 1.8 times our money back. That's, like, better than most of the early game missions. Yeah, even without Jewel, like, there's nothing he can really do against us. So, this might also be a pretty efficient way of leveling people up. Because we can just stick them in this monstrous bastard thing and lay waste to them. Speed as well. Like extra shots. 140 damage. Or 140 XP. Which admittedly isn't a lot for Royd here. But if I wanted to quickly train somebody else up. Let's try that, shall we? Let's see what happens if we uh, go to setup. Now, who needed some skills? Right. Now, let's set, and I have a cat running across my, oh god, my everything, off, bastard, uh, backpack. Now, do we actually, okay, we don't have to restock his items, which is good. Right, let's re-equip him, and let's take someone who, you know, is... Uh, questionable. Let's equip him in the mobile weapon. And let's see how he fears in the arena. And this might actually be a really freaking efficient way to level people up. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at the odds. It's like four. It's nearly four. The odds, four to one. So, I mean, that does make me think we might not be able to take this guy. Even in this thing. Yeah, even in this thing, that might be questionable. But if he gets lucky, which he may get lucky, we would earn some serious cash. Now, this is a perfect example right here. Of displaying how much difference the skills make. Yeah, we might still lose, you know. Yep, looks like we've lost. Oof. Okay, so it might not be as good. Although, what we could do is go to someone that isn't quite as good odds. And farm that way. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I do like um, the farming system in this game, the way it works. I mean, it's kind of cheesy in a way. And doing this over and over and over again for, let's be real, right? I'm, no bullshit. Hours, because this does take hours to get your people up to speed. Um, which is why you end up with so much money. But it's kind of cool there is a system like this in the game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to at least get our friend here. I'm going to try and get him. I don't know. Am I going to go for everybody? I, th I think my target would be to have everybody at least level 20. Because if they're all at least level 20, they're all at least somewhat useful. Um... Whereas the problem is, because we have so many people, um, it it does become a hell of a time grind, a time sink, to get them all up there, which is unfortunate. But you can see how easily we're racking in the money. I mean, we're making nearly three grand per fight here. 
Uh, which is nice, because to completely upgrade all of our guys last time, um, to get the spider flying legs <laughs> and all the other little upgrades, that was nearly 200 grand. It gets expensive. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. When we come back, we're going to go and do the actual mission, and I'm going to do a little bit of grinding off camera. And I, do, I don't think I'm going to do a huge amount, although every time I say that, I do loads, but... Because uh, I usually just put some music on and just continuously push A until the numbers get higher. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.